Have you ever wondered what was here before you came? I mean, our world is constantly in flux, ever changing. What is here today may be gone tomorrow. For example, in 1915, this parking lot behind me was home to the Tubman School for Girls. It burned in 1916, and now there is nothing left of what was here. But have you ever really wondered about how many feet walked along the ground you are now standing? And about places that once existed that are now no more? In this episode of Stories, Secrets, and Sagas, we'll travel to the town of Scarborough, Georgia. And while we're there, we will learn a little about a place gone but not forgotten. Just a short drive from Augusta, Georgia on the Ogeechee River lies the remains of Scarborough, Georgia. Originally created with a train refueling depot for the Central Railroad, to date there is little evidence of the once thriving farm community. Over the years, the town went through feast and famine, but the town was in a great location with the river and railroad nearby. On December 3, 1864, General William T. Sherman and Union troops camped along the railroad tracks here as they made their famous march to the sea. Legend has it that Sherman burned and looted much of the town, sparing only a few buildings, but ripping up the railroad and devastating anything that could bring income or comfort to the people here. Despite the hardship of the Civil War, the town thrived in its aftermath. On Sundays, the faithful at the Baptist Church could be heard singing, and on any given summer day, children and adults swam in the nearby Ogeechee River, placing a watermelon in a cold spot near the shore and enjoying the sweet, cool treat while thawing in the sun afterwards. In the not-too-distant past, Mr. Frawley's store carried just about anything you could need, from candy to coffins, all under one roof. Like many small towns of the past, the general store was a gathering place for children and adults alike. It was a place where you heard the news while being warmed by an old cast iron stove or just playing with Mr. Frawley's old dog, Buster. If you walk down to the Ogeechee, you will see a nicely manicured graveyard marking in perpetuity many of those who were connected to this town and closer to the river lie many graves from further back in time, of forgotten souls and a once thriving community now slowly being overtaken by nature. Today, other than a logging truck cruising down Highway 17 or a cargo train making its way down the railway, the town is pretty quiet. But just think of all the stories, secrets, and sagas this old town could tell. We'll see you next time.